How to edit your eBay listings for return shipping. Hey, Jeff Beeman, jbnetmarketing.com, and we are back into getting some videos done after a long holiday break. And during and over the holidays, I ran across a question in one of the seller groups. Um, she normally, this particular seller, didn't, uh, didn't set up any of her listings to be... Uh, she had no returns okay and you can you have that option in eBay to uh, say that you do not accept returns now however if you don't know this part of it if the person the buyer decides that they want to uh, try to return it and you say oh, I'm sorry I, I don't accept returns they can if if it's legit they can say the item was not as described okay and then eBay will normally side with the buyer and force you to do the return anyway. So you can put on there, don't accept returns. Um, that also kind of hurts your top rated seller opportunities um, as well. You really should uh, put yourself in a position where you can handle returns. If you're putting out decent quality items and products, then you know having that occasional return is not going to be a big deal. Now, if you're there are certain categories, sometimes clothing, sometimes electronics, uh, so a lot of times toys. Those three categories can be a little bit, uh, a little bit more of return uh, issues with returns. And um, you know, there's some scammers out there. We know that. So you just, you know, it's part of doing business. We got to deal with it. But if you're looking for a way to edit your current listings and say, okay, I want to make sure I've got all my listings uh, on so that they can so it'll show that I have a, at least a 30-day return you need a minimum of a 30-day return to hit your top rated uh, seller status if I understand correctly if I'm wrong on that somebody please let me know uh, I think you can go on all the way out to 60 days for returns and and that's not a, depending on the product and so forth um, that you're selling maybe that's a good idea for you maybe not don't know um, so what we want to do is we want to look at our listings, and this is on my secondary account, uh, JBNet Auctions and Stuff. Uh, this is just kind of a side account that I keep active for some uh, miscellaneous items. And um, what you all you need to do now, I'm on a store, okay? So I'm not on individual individual listings. Maybe a little bit different on how you get here to do this, but on a store, if you own a store. It's really quite easy. All you got to do is right here under edit, uh, under actions. First of all, I'll back up a second, rewind, go down and see down here um, how many items per page and then how many items do you actually have listed. Okay, so you can go all the way to 200 items. Um, so if you have a, a lot of listings, you may need to do 200 at a time. All right, so I've I, this particular account and store. I've only got like 30 active, so I'm just going to stay with the uh, 50 items per page shown, and we should be good to go. So the easiest way I know to do this, and if there is a different way to do it, uh, please comment, either whether you're watching this on the blog post or watching it on my YouTube channel. Um, comment on and you know give some description of, of how to go about it a different way. But underneath the edit button, just hit your little box right here next to actions. That gets them all clicked. Okay. Then underneath edit, you go up here, you click edit, drop down, edit selected, or edit all 30 listings. I edit selected if you got more than 30 listings, like I do, or like most people would have. Again, this is just my secondary side store, I guess you could call it. And it should bring you up to this screen. And you may not be able to see all my little boxes over here, but it, it lists everything in here, okay? And over here, again, above the uh, the listings, there will be a little box where you can click it, and it will highlight all the fields. Then you go up here to your edit fields, and you come down here, and we're looking for shipping, uh, shipping international, shipping domestic, shipping discounts, shipping discounts, okay? So you're probably looking at, uh, shipping domestic in most cases you may have some international on there okay so whoops we're not doing shipping we're doing uh, returns sorry back up rewind again go under edit fields 
return policy. That's what we're looking for. Sorry, I'm doing I'm doing as many of these how to edit your cat <laughs> eBay listings as I can to uh, for for folks that ask these questions. But here's your return policy. You click on that, and it, it, you can then bulk edit your returns. As you see here, I've got mine um, set on 30 days. You can do 14 days, 60 days. You at least need to do 30 days to help again with your top rated seller status. So change that to 30, hit save and close. And if you have more than however many listings you have highlighted here and you need to go back through and figure out where you stopped and where you started, hit the, hit the next 100 or 200, however many listings you have and do it again for all of those. All right, so that's a quick tutorial on, and it took a little bit longer than I wanted to, uh, on how to edit eBay listings for your return policy okay so I'll make sure we get that correct in the title in the meantime hey it's been great talking to you again I'm gonna try to get some more videos done over the next few days next couple weeks and uh, we've got the blog reset to jbnetmarketing.com we've got the YouTube channel which I hope you will subscribe to if you're a newcomer newbie uh, just visiting this YouTube channel for the first time uh, at jeffbeamanonline.com and uh, there'll be other pertinent information down below in the description area uh, for you to uh, peruse at your leisure. So have a great day. Happy New Year. 2018's here kicked off. I've got a couple orders. i got to go get packed up. We'll catch you again next time. Thanks.